Well, hello and welcome to the CAD tutorial channel. Today we're going to take a look at taking an inventor assembly and bring it out into some type of uh, cutting software, whether it be a CNC laser, CNC plasma, or CNC uh, router. In our particular example today, we're going to be using a router, but the plasma or laser or fiber laser for that matter would all be a similar process. Everything begins with us creating our assembly file in Inventor like we have here. So I have a flat back chair. This is intended to be made from a sheet of plywood and uh, all the pieces should come together. So we spent some time in the design cycle and creating this chair and uh, putting all of our pieces together and making sure everything works. Now, specifically when it comes to a CNC router, we have to think about the cutters that we're intending to use. In this particular case, I'm planning on using a quarter inch uh, compression spiral bit. And uh, with that, I need to make sure that all my radiuses are set above that quarter inch diameter uh, for this to work and function correctly. Specifically, when I make these holes, in this case, I'm intending to put some dowels halfway in the middle of these parts. So you won't see the dowels on the finished part, but they're just there to kind of put everything together and uh, fit everything together. So I've highlighted all my outside faces with this blue so that I can keep that straight. And when I make my holes in my, my software, I will only allow those holes to go half the depth of the material. So that means I'm going to be cutting from the inside down. And so on the bed of my router table will be this blue face. All right, so this is a fairly easy to do. And uh, I wanted to make sure that we got a video out to help everyone do that. Once we have all of our hard work should be done in creating the assembly and creating all of our part files, getting it into our uh, tooling software should be the easy part. So let's take a look at how we can make that as easy as possible. So we're going to take this assembly and put it away. We're going to start a brand new assembly and we're going to place all of our part files for this in that assembly. So here are all my part files with no constraints on them. At this point, I'm going to come into the origin plane and just pick one. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to make that visible. Now remember, I want my blue faces all to be down on my tabletop. So when I constrain these, my only constraint is going to be taking this piece and constraining it to the table with the blue side down. So it just take me a few minutes to do this. We don't even have to be precise with it. So like on that part, I picked the, the non-blue face and I'm just going to turn it to a flush. But the key is I don't want to see any blue when we're all done and done with this. Now, depending on the software we're using is how sophisticated we have to get with taking care of nesting and, and that sort of thing uh, in Inventor. In an ideal world, we want to use the tooling software to accomplish that. So whether it's Aspire or Vector Cut or 2D Cut uh, or 3D Cut, those have pretty sophisticated software packages with them. Now, if we're doing with a CO2 laser and using like RD Works, then we're going to have to do a little more setup in this particular assembly file. 
um, RD Works just doesn't have the sophistication that we're we would expect uh, or need to progress forward. All right, I'm almost done. Just see a few parts still sticking up. Okay, so I think that's everything laid flat. Now I'm just gonna to come to a top view and kind of look down on it. I don't want to get too carried away. I'm just going to start to move my pieces in this view and kind of start to set them up like so. I'm going to use, in my case, a vector to take care of moving the parts around and making sure. I'm going to use the nesting feature in there so that I don't use a whole lot of material. But if I'm concerned about which way the grain structure is, then I may have to take some extra time and make sure that uh, everything is lined up with the direction I plan to cut the file and that sort of thing. But you guys can figure that out depending on your project. We're just going to try and make this a quick and painless video here. All right, so this is good enough for me to move forward in this case or this example. And uh, this next step is really simple and it's the easiest way to get these parts out and into our tooling software. We're gonna go ahead and take and uh, offset a plane off of this initial plane. I'm just gonna set a distance of like five. It really doesn't matter upward and I'll turn the visibility of this off. Okay, I'm gonna create a brand new part file and I'm gonna call it cut file and make sure it's in the right folder. And I'm gonna place it on that work plane. Now in this work plane, I'm gonna go ahead and create a sketch right there on that plane again. And then I'm going to use a project geometry and I'm going to pick all of my faces. I don't want to pick edges. I want to get the whole face. I want to make sure I just get all the parts. Oh, one more. There he is. Okay. That's it. I'm going to finish the sketch. And here's the real easy part. Is all I need to come over here is to my sketch. And this is uh, all controlled by where these parts are lying. Is just right click on it. And I'm going to export the sketch as a DXF into a folder. And now I have a file that is ready to go over into whatever my tooling software may be. So I'm just going to call it cut file and that's it. So now I can go ahead and import this into whatever software I might be using, move the parts around or use some of the nesting features in them. And I'm ready to, to start making these uh, cut files in whatever material that I choose. Hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel uh, for more exciting videos like this in any CAD software topic. And uh, if you have any ideas for our next videos, please leave it in the comments and we'll be more than happy to get that moving. Uh, good luck and enjoy.